good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too. And that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. So that's got things on the way. Drives it towards the front. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it forward, and it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tries to locate someone up front. Tries to get it clear. It's being played forward. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. And it's played forward. Done very well to intervene. Forward it goes. Over to the left. Has a quick glance. That's offside. Yes, it is. Keeper sends it forward. And it's Sessignon. Pumps it into the area. Drives it in. Cleared away. Defending of the desperate variety. And a throw in. Gets his foot in there. Goes down, but nothing given. Dashing forward at pace. to get it forward quickly. A really good feat from him. What an adventurous run from a defender.
plenty waiting in the middle. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So the other team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. So first half thoughts? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. After 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. is back on the way. Gensha Billy can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. And it's a corner. Wasted clear. And here's Sassigno. He's good for it. Hoists it forward. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Up towards the front line. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Sessegnon. Oh, great! That's a hit! What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Gensler barely get themselves into the lead. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. A forward pass. Has he found his man? Toure. Yeni Malatyaspor are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Oh, good interception. And it's played forward. Yeni Malachaspor can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Torre looking up to see who wants it. Tries to get it forward quickly. 
knocks it away. Gets into a dangerous position. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Played in with accuracy. Big chance! Well, I suppose it wasn't the worst attempt if you consider how far out he was. And the referee brings it to a close. Dentra Bailey, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Yeah, it was a, a fairly stern test with very little between two teams that scrapped for everything. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Begdon and